Good morning, everybody. Happy Sunday. We are actually one hour ahead. Remember not to move your clock or move your clock in the morning for Monday. So we'll be getting up a little earlier. Um, just wanted to go over a couple of little minor technicals through the market. I have uh, actually put up um, here the SVX, the NASDAQ, the Russell, and the Dow Jones Industrial Average as a combination of the four. Um, we are still in an uptrend, which we have broken the channel. But if you look between the 78% and the 50%, we're still in that side range from the prior breakdown. We're almost halfway back down. I don't want to sound bearish or bullish because this is a very technical trade. The 27,400 area will put us around the bearish area. If we're above the 71 to the 37,500 will put us to the bullish area. But since we are in this range, it is possible on Friday they pushed the market back up. If you notice, they were trying to push it down in the afternoon. They, they came a little bit of buyers and they dragged the market back up. So we are holding the 200 SMA. We're still uh, above the 50, but we're underneath the 18 simple moving average. Let's see what next week will hold for us because we are still in that range bound of that box. Once we can come back up, if we create a shoulder and come back up, it becomes more bullish. Remember, we still have the tariff. We still have the euro exit end of the month, the Brexit. We still have the building the wall. And we still have a little bit uh, downsizing in the economy, you know, news coming out globally. You know, like China, Europe, there's a little slowdown. Other than that, um, keep an eye on the news to see where it takes us. And let's get on and take a look at the E-mini contract, the S&P. Yes. That's the S&P 500. And we got a nice little reversal hammer. We did close actually above the 200 SMA. It's kind of a little, as long as we're underneath the 2793 area, 92, 93, 50, we are bearish on the daily chart. We're holding the 116, we're, up, we're below the 18, and we are above the 50 SMA. We're still in that range box, side action. But that possible down channel, if we neglect it and push above, you know, the 60 area to 62, and push back up, you know, to this uh, 78 area, 90 area, 93, will put us back into the bull side. If we stay underneath and we seal pressure, look for the 38.2 and the 27, 12 area, 2700 and 27, uh, 26, uh, 95, 98. To the upside, I would see back to the 2800, 2812. So either way, I don't want to be, you know, on either side, but be careful of the news. That's what will make us go either way, up or down. Let's take a look at the NASDAQ. Sorry, I should be here. The NASDAQ, uh, same thing a little bit. We got a hammer, but we bounced off the 61A. Um, the 27... Uh, 70, 27, 80 will put us back in the bullish camp. Let's take a look at the RTY. RTY. Small cap. Small cap is below the 61.8. Because remember, we had lower highs here. We still, we are in a higher low from this area of those two shoulders. If this holds, you know, this area does, you know, it holds the 15.30 area, may push back up. If it loses it, look for the 50 SMA and the 50 FIB first thing before we can get a bounce. Let's take a look at the Dow Jones Industrial at YM. YM is a little bit above, it's above the 61. It's very critical. It's inside this box, but it's in the upper range of that box. If you notice, you know, halfway of that box is somewhere here. We bounced perfectly off that halfway, but we missed the 200 SMA. We're below the 18 and above the 50. If this gonna hold, Keep an eye on the 25400 to hold. If it doesn't, it goes lower. If it holds, 
look back to the upside, you know, to the 25, 975 area to the upside, then we'll push back up. Let's take a look at Apple. <clears throat> Apple um, on uh, Friday was a little weak in the morning open then they dragged it back up to close a little bit positive um, let's take a look at uh, Amazon Amazon was a little bit weaker I don't like where it's sitting at it's sitting around the 38% Feb on the shorter time frame and as well as the prior 38 if this holds and creates a shoulder because this cup I was thinking you know it creates a cup and clears this area which is this little oval last week I pointed it never got to the 200 SMA it actually you turned on the news you know you had uh, you know Thursday Friday this is Wednesday actually now those two days bar those two bars brought us back down so let's see if we get a if we get support and we can clear the 50 and the 18 SMA you know the 1635 1645 back to the upside B do little bit don't like the pattern I know it's in the bottom range let's take a look at Baba Baba you know that gap fell here it got actually filled it gap down you know we had uh, Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday came back in the Thursday Friday was gaps um, it has to hold this channel you know the 170 area if it doesn't look lower to the 50 SMA around the 165 162 area to the upside back to the 175.80 area if there's good news coming out of China let's take a look at Facebook Facebook is actually in that island on their earning is this a head and shoulder forming if it doesn't holds the 18 and the a 200 SMA look for the U-turn back up to the back side of this channel break through it up because it's underneath the back side of that channel it just closed right at the 169.60 right on it if it continues look for the upside back to the 182 if not look back to the 50 SMA Google uh, Google uh, was actually doing a nice round bottom here I mean I can show you something that I really liked about it was creating that roundness you know I was thinking it, it continues to the upside of that channel you know to that uh, DMI uh, upper level unfortunately it didn't it came back in if it can hold above the 1140 1145 Google is you know strong let's see what Google does over the week Take a look at uh, Tesla. Uh, Tesla has been having good and bad news, you know, on uh, the distribution side, on the manufacturing, laying off people. Uh, the in China on the port, they holding their cars hostages, not releasing them through customs. So it came down, came back up. I was looking for the, you know, the 175 that minor channel on the on the weekly let's just go to the weekly it came into it missed it by a little bit hit the 200 SMA came into that cloud I was looking for that bottom of that channel you know to finish it it came into it and pushed back up as long as uh, Tesla's below that 188 area 190 area still has a lot of problem if it cannot clear that 190 area it can come back you know back down to this channel back to the you know the 248 I'd like to see it in the bottom channel because you remember I have one more channel up here which I never drew we've got one two three four it's always hitting the halfway back of this consolidation and coming in I mean I have a lot of drawings on it and this is the upper channel trends if you see it, the top one here the middle one here the, the, the bottom one down here every time it came back in that area it kind of bounced off is this time going to hold it or eventually fail and come back to my old area which I'd like to see those green boxes revisited we have this one revisited we revisited this one then my major virgin control is this one and I hate to say hey Tesla is it possible can it come in this region possible but you have this consolidation you've got one two three four if this is the fifth one and it holds it goes back up if it doesn't it comes back down let's take a look at uh, Exxon XOM 
Exxon, this is the weekly. Um, let's go to the daily. It still looks very strong, Exxon. I like it, but it's underneath, you know, the still holding above the 61A. As long as it's holding the 7850 area, it's strong. You know, it can continue back to the 82 because of this prior consolidation. If oil, you know, comes back and loses the 18 SMA, look for the backside of the 76 area, 50, 76 area for a nice little rebound. Let's take a look at Wynn Resort. At least, you know, tell you if there's people going gambling. Um, when I don't like the pattern on it, it's a 50 SMA and the 116. Let's get, let's just wait for it. I want to do gold GC as well as uh, oil and finish up with the ES GC. Gold actually came back down from that 1350 area, and I kept screaming in the room below the 1330, uh, 1324. Be careful of it. It came back down to the 61A, created that round bottom. This was kind of like a shoulder forming, you know, like this area here. It couldn't continue to finish to the 1370 area, came back down, bounced off the 1292 area that 1292 is very critical if it holds if it stays below the 1305 area be careful of gold because the back side of it will be around that oval that I put here gold should be in this area first and this area before you can get a nice rebound to the long side if there's fear in the market because if there is gold will still take off um, here's one thing about the gold on the weekly chart just it's a nice rounded pattern is this the shoulder to continue higher this is why I have it done that way let's take a look at the VIX before I go back to the ES VIX we'll do just the ETF instead of the slash VX the VIX as long as it's below the 1580 it's weak above the 1580 it's bullish on the weekly chart Let's take a look at it on the daily chart because it rallied off that baseline. It stayed in it for a while. There's been this consolidation. Eventually, one, two, three, four days, four bottoms, you turn back up. If it cannot clear this top here, and you know, the 17, 18 area, let's call it 1780, 17, let's call it 1785. If it doesn't clear it, it's got the 50 SMA, could it head back down? possible because remember the news is going to affect the market trend and change if the VIX is going to pick itself up with gold be careful of the S&P the Nasdaq the Dow the large cap sector and the small cap will give us an idea where we can be heading so let's just finish it up with the ES I want to show three things on the ES um, this is the daily chart I'm going to go to the weekly and I'm going to go to an hourly chart. The weekly chart, this whole move down, we did almost 50% of the move. Um, if we take a look at the top and bottom ranges of the 1800 all the way up to the 24, 2950, let's call it 29. 20, 2950 all the way down to 1800, 1830. This is the 50% move back, and we bounced off it. Are we going to create a small shoulder to continue higher? We're still above the 50 SMA. We bounced off it nicely on the weekly, and we are holding this range. If we clear the 12, 20, uh, 27.92, 93 area off to the races. If we stay under it, and we lose the 27, uh, 27.36, look to the downside of it let me go to the hourly and i'll show you something which i really like um that's the 12 uh, 27 uh, 55 we're still underneath it we need to clear that clear this channel you know the 62 65 back to the upside in order to continue back to that consolidation you know the 2785 to 2792 to go up back up into that 12th range days that we had and we can take off if we stay underneath that area look back to the downside and if we lose the 2730 this time we will collapse down to the 2692 uh, i don't want to sound bearish but we are inside this consolidation between the 2755 and 2730 if i'm below 30 
down to the bearish camp in 27, uh, 24, 20 area will put us down above the 62 put us up. So I'm going to put an oval here for everybody. So we're going to do that and we're going to keep an eye on either side scenario. The, between the 60 to 65 will set us higher. Between the 20 and 18 will set us lower. And let's just move this a little further so everybody can see it. So either scenario, we have the upside or we have the downside. So have a happy week, everybody. Hope to see you next week. Enjoy your weekend and look forward to seeing you in the coming week.